software required for upgrade from release 12.2.0 to release 12.2.2. Now in the previous movie we understood what were the mandatory software you've got to download from a delivery website for 12.2.0 installation. But once you have done that then the next step is upgrading from 12.2.0 to 12.2.2. So it requires a couple of things. You got to download a couple of mandatory patches, so which includes database tire patches and application tire patches, and you've got to apply them. Then you've got to apply a mega patch, and once you have done that, then you've got to apply a release uh, upgrade patch for 12.2.2. So it not only involves downloading a couple of patches, plus also the CD or DVDs for 12.2.2. So let's understand what all is involved. I will minimize this now and then I will go to our website which is www.aclnz.com. Simply go to resources and from here go to blocks and in the blocks you simply type release 12.2.2 just 12.2.2 and it's going to show you a whole lot of hits and then I will show you which one you've got to actually pick it up all right so these are the 12.2.2 related blocks now first thing is let's understand the software you've got to download from e-delivery website and then I will come back and tell you the other patches that you've got to download from my Oracle support website. Okay, so okay, that's the one. So software required to upgrade from Oracle EBS 12.2.0 to 12.2.2. So simply click on this one and open it. Let's say open it in a new window. Okay, and if you look at these ones, these are all the DVDs that you've got to download from Oracle's e-delivery website. So the one I was referring to, if you look at this, every software DVD has got 12.2.2 in it, with the exception of the last one, which is a one-off patch for applying the help files, okay? So if you go here, in edelivery.oracle.com e e website and if you scroll down slowly so first thing you will see 12.2.0 DVDs which you have already downloaded and used for 12.2.0 installation and then if you scroll down you will find a couple of the CDs 12.2.2 ones which are there and yes this is what I am referring to right from part 1 of 6 to part 6 of 6 and then you also got to download this, okay? Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12.2 Supplemental Media. And then this is optional. If you want, you can download it. If you don't want, just ignore it. This is just a documentation library, but these are the ones which goes in the installation. Now, before you actually apply these DVDs, or these are nothing but a, a mega patch, okay for 12.2.2 upgrade you've got to apply a number of database tire and application tire patches so where do you find all that information now that information is basically scattered if you look around in my oracle support website but it is presented in a very nice way there but what i've done is to assist you further i have actually listed that down over here so let's see where i've done it Okay, this one. So Oracle EBS 12.2.2 installation from scratch. If you click on this link and if you scroll down a little bit at the bottom, you will see appendices. Okay, and that appendices, if you look at that, if you click on Appendix A, which called Reference Documents and List of Mandatory Patches, click on that one and that's where it's going to show you the other patches that you've got to download. So as you would see, right from here, you have installed Oracle 12.2.0. But for 12.2.2, you've got to install all these patches. So as you could see, right from patch 1 to 4 are required for database tire. And after you install 12.2.0.
okay and then once you apply database tire patches then you should apply this application tire patches which is called as consolidated seed table upgrade patch and the details of all these patches you can actually find it in oracle my oracle support article id this is the article id and once you've applied these two patches then you've got to apply this mega patch this is a pretty big patch and it took me a couple of hours to apply and again it depends on your machine if you are applying it on a laptop or a desktop be prepared uh, to have that applied for probably eight to ten hours okay so that's the one applying 12.2.2 ad and txk release update pack and once you are done with that then you've got to apply in fact as a part of this you've got to apply three patches and once you're done with all these three patches you have to apply this patch so these two patches what you see over here are nothing but the one that i have just shown you on oracle e-delivery website so let's just close this yeah so that's the one i have shown you so these two are the ones coming from here and they are the ones which will actually upgrade from release 12.2.0 to 12.2.2 and be prepared to for you um, to have this applied for anywhere between 12 to 24 hours basically for me it took me 24 hours even on a pretty good server but uh, i don't know why it was it's taking such a long time i was hoping that it would complete for anywhere between four to six hours time but again nothing bad happened no errors have encountered it probably because of the you know sizing i would have given while configuring the linux kernel parameters but don't worry about that but in your case if you are installing on a laptop or a desktop then be prepared for a long time it's it it's a really a mega patch and takes a very long time to apply all right so these are all the patches that you've got to have uh, along with the software to upgrade to 12.2.2